Hello. As a lover of the series The Last of Us, I thought that on the occasion of the release of the series adaptation by HBO's Look Behind This Brand series, it would be goofed to talk about 10 interesting facts of the series The Last of Us. The iconic sound of the clicker created one of the designers when she used her throat to make these unpleasant sounds. Another designer repeated it for male clickers. The bloater sound was created by slowing down and editing one recording of a one of the designer's newborn baby crying. The team that developed Last of Us was supposed to create the fourth part of Jack and Dexter just the ideas and thoughts that the team was interested in didn't fit into this fantastic world at all and at the same time they didn't want to reshape this brand and build it to be more criminal and dirty. So instead of that, they started working on the game Last of Us. The ideas for the story of the game were planned to be that Ellie would be Joel's daughter, but the scriptwriters soon realized that the story would not have much direction. When the players meet the Ellie just as Joel reached her, so their relationship will grow as well as their will. Originally the game was not even supposed to contain any infected enemies and the world was supposed to be populated only by wandering people. But it seemed to be too repetitive without much active threat in the background. The first ideas for The Last of Us game came back in 2004. The future creative director of Last of Us has a teacher that was a good friend of the director George Romero, the father of the zombie film. From those ideas would go into development. Neil Druckmann had in mind a game with a cop who has a sick heart and protects a young girl in the city that is full of carnivorous monsters. Whenever his heart starts to fail, the roles of protector would switch. Neil Druckmann also reworked the original idea into Tuning, which was a six-part comic that he handwrote. And he used it when pitching ideas at India developers who liked it but didn't fall in love with it so they didn't make it. The link to it can be found in games too. When the Neil Druckmann started making the Uncharted 2, they started the script for a game called The Mute Girl. Mute Girl goes with the emotional scenes she has to express without the help of dialogue. That didn't make it into the game in the end. But the idea that I would approach the central character through actions and behavior instead of just dialogue became the backbone of the whole Last of Us. Strong inspirations for the games were films such as This Country is Not for Old Men or the book City of Thieves and the BBC documentary series A Magical Planet. Where they first saw the cause of their apocalypse a parasitic fungus known as a caterpillar at this point was called mankind and the parasitic fungus was supposed to only affect women. But someone already commented that it might not be the best idea. There are a bunch of caterpillars and for the creators to even know how the biological works, they found professor named David as a consultant. He is professor of entomology and biology from Pennsylvania State University. Neil Druckmann studied various epidemics in history such as the Spanish flu. Paranoia and the mutual blame, that was part of these pandemics. During development Neil realized that a black and white world and a clear villain was not an option for this game. Okay, thank you for watching. You can leave a like and subscribe.